In this video, we're going to look at creating offerings. So offerings is Access Allies take on courses, memberships, team centers, affiliate centers, whatever you can think of, we've put it under offerings. And these are pieces of content that you want to protect, whether they are free or paid or under subscription. So let's go ahead and create a new offering. You'll see that we have some templates to help you shortcut the process. So we have a free course option. This could be great for a challenge that gets dripped out over time. We also have a dripped release course, also great if you want to drip content over time. And then a membership program, so that's something that would be more of a recurring option usually. And then we also have a way to create team centers. So this is for bulk course enrollment. It could be a subscription or a one-time payment. Same goes for an affiliate center. If you wanted to create a place for all of your affiliates to come grab their links and get all of that information. And of course you can start from scratch if you don't want to use a template. Let's go ahead and create a drip release course. So you'll want to name your course. And for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this as a one-time payment of hundred dollars and click next. And when I'm done, I say, yes, I want to add my content. You'll see that everything is pre-populated, but we're still in pending mode. So we can make changes here. And what I recommend is to set up the structure of how you want things to get dripped and hit save only after you've set up that structure. And of course you can come in and make changes later as well. The first thing you'll see here under content is your main page for the course. So this is a page that cannot be deleted. It is the center of your course and everything else is underneath it. You can also add stuff to a base module. So this is something that is immediately available. Everybody gets this as well. And then you'll see these different modules. So we call these week one, week two, week three. You can rename these as well. And the other thing you can see here is this little icon. So if you click this icon, you'll see how this gets released. So in this example, it automatically releases module one. Let's say I didn't want to do that. I could go ahead and release it after seven days. For example, uh, I could just make it not released. And that would be a great way to do it if you wanted to do a progress based release. So that means that somebody has to complete the previous module for this to show up and get unlocked. Or if you wanted to use this when you're doing something through your CRM that pings Access Ally to unlock something, you could choose that option as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as immediately available. And you'll see here by default, these are all seven days apart. So if I wanted to make this maybe three days, so it's a little bit faster, I could go ahead and do that too. You can also add content so you can create new pages, upload protected media content, add an existing page or duplicate an existing page. So this is great if you have, for example, pages that are very similar that you want to include in each course, you can go ahead and do that. It's going to duplicate the content, including any theme settings or anything else on that page. And if you click on the add button, you can upload your protected content. So again, this is great if you have files that you would like to upload, or if you wanna use Amazon S3, if you have a bucket that you've already set up here, you can choose your content that way. You can also add public pages. So this is a great way to add, let's say a sales page that is associated with my offering. And you can also nest offerings within each other. So if I wanted to nest something else in here, I can go ahead and do that. And people who have access to this will also have access to this additional content. Under forms, you'll see the form that we've already created with our example. You can also add, let's say, a free opt-in form if you want to do. You can also add coupons, toggles, and other types of payment plans, which is great for having different options. We're going to get back to settings in a second, but let's click on permissions. So these are all of the tags that will automatically get created for you as you hit save. So these will be created inside of your CRM and these will be used when people are purchasing or revoking and also as each module unlocks. So these are great to be used inside of your CRM, but if you're using Access Allies release functionality that is built in here, you don't need to worry about the tags as much. So let's say I'm happy with the structure. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And now all of these pages have been created and you'll see they're still in draft mode. So when I click on this, it will open it up in WordPress so I can edit the page, add content, videos, any of that stuff that I want to add and hit publish. And a good tip to keep in mind is that you will want to publish your course or membership main page because that is the one that holds everything else underneath it. And to refresh, you can just hit save and it will show you whether a page has been published or if it's still in draft mode. 
Now let's head over to our settings. So this is where you can change the name of your offering, add a description, and this is where you can link to your sales page if they don't have access to this offering. So if they're not a paying customer, it will redirect them to that sales page that we just added. And these are the dashboard icons where you can upload an image for when it's available, when they don't have access, or when they've completed this offering completely. And if you don't want to upload anything, don't worry because Access Ally will automatically generate these three for you based on the colors that you set under your styling options. So it's totally optional whether you want to upload images. There will be something visual for people if you don't have something yet. By default, Access Ally also creates a WordPress menu for you. You can always find these under appearance and menus, and you can assign these to a different place based on how your theme is set up. So you can come in here and reorder things if you wanted to. So for example, my module uh, or page six should be down here, or I can make it a sub item if I wanted to, I can rename these links as well. So if I wanted it to match more of my other uh, modules, for example, I could do that as well. And then under the automations tab is where you'll find links to our knowledge base as well as some testing steps to help you walk through the setup and make sure everything is good to go before you send people to purchase your new offering. And of course, to test, you can click on these preview icons, which will take you to the order forms that you created. It's always a good idea to open these in a new incognito window so you're not already logged in when you're doing a test. So you can come in and see exactly what people would see when they're purchasing. So that's it. Go ahead and create your first offering.